Happy Sunday afternoon everyone. We have a really special training for you today. And I mentioned Sunday afternoon because that's when DIY is done. Saturdays, evenings, and Sundays. So today, what we're going to be going through, and it should be pretty quick if everything goes well, is how to take a new hub because of whatever reason. Maybe you're not going to use your hub that you have that's existing, or maybe there was a problem with the hub that you have that's existing, but how to take a new hub that was sent to you from Pulsar Halo and how to program it into the existing system that you have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up this hub. I have my tools today. I have my little screwdriver. I have my pen. And I have my list. I call this my install notes. And this is very important. I have the Halo number for when I call in a little bit later. And I'm going to write down my zone. So I'll show you as we do that why I keep those notes. I'm going to take the little screwdriver and I'm going to press down on that top tab and open the new hub up and again this just came in from Pulsar Halo and it came in with my Z-Wave card and it came in with a cellular card now this cellular card is very important to me and the reason is is because if someone cuts the internet lines on a house thinking they're gonna break in and not be caught it's still gonna call out and also because it's so so quick as far as backup goes I'm a big believer in cellular cards so it looks like Pulsar Halo put everything together before they sent it to me. And I'm going to put the cover back on. Okay, cover's back on. Put it in the stand. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it up. Plug the power in. Now you'll notice, because I'm just going cellular on this, I'm not plugging in the internet cord. So I'm just putting in power. Plug it into the outlet in the wall. And now we're going to watch for lights on the hub. All right. Exactly what we wanted. Top light here flashing. That means that we have AC power. What we're going to be looking for is connectivity to cellular, to our platform. And that's the second and third light. So usually we give that about 30 seconds, maybe a minute, whatever it takes. It's reaching out there to the cloud right now. And we're going to wait for those lights to come on. Here we go. So now we're picking up connectivity and that's looking great right there. So our hub is online. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my keypad that I unenrolled from the last system and we're going to enroll it into the new system. So on the side of the hub, I'm going to press and hold the learn button until it goes into programming mode. Now it's in programming mode because you have the flashing red light. And I'm going to take our keypad and I'm going to hit the menu button. The menu button's been hit and now it says enroll, which is the little dark area there. I'm going to hit the check mark button and these two units are talking right now. Working, please wait. All right, it just accepted it. So now I have a working keypad with our hub. Now I have three doors and one motion detector that used to be on my old system that now I want to have on this system. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to press that learn button again and I'm putting us into program mode. We're back into red. Now let's go over to zone one. We're going to walk over to zone one, which is my front door. See right here is our little Nanomax on the front door. And I'm going to just stick the little screwdriver in there and lift up on that. Now I just lifted it up that much and I heard the beep on the hub. I can close it back up. All right, we're gonna go over to the hub and I'm gonna show you what the hub looks like. You'll see that the hub is still in program mode, so that's great. So now this hub knows that that was the first one we put in, so that was zone one. So we go to my install notes, zone one, front door, okay? Now we're going to go to zone two. Zone two is my rear door out the kitchen. Keeps my dog outside. Open it up a little bit. Just heard it beep in the background. Close it back up. Okay, so now that sensor is learned into the hub. Hub is still in program mode. I'm going to go to my install notes. Zone two is rear door. 
Zone three, I'm gonna write down zone four right now, and I'm gonna put those ahead of time here. I'm gonna put zone three is gonna be my garage entry door. Zone four is gonna be my motion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the garage entry door now, and we're gonna learn that into the hub as well. So we're still in program mode. We're walking through my house into the laundry room. Now we're at my garage entry door. I'm going to open this up and in the background I'm going to be listening for the beep. I heard my beep. I close it back up. We're going to leave that at zone 3 and head to my motion detector in my living room. That's really important to remember that this is only done when you're programming a new hub. Otherwise all of these devices come programmed on a new system. But what we're doing is we're taking over a system with a new hub. That's what's so great about this training. You get a little bit deeper. Here's your motion detector. Underneath the motion is where you press the little piece there. Open the motion up and we're going to press the tamper button. All right. We had a beep going on in there. Close that back up. That just came in as zone four. We're back at the hub. We've learned in our keypad. We've learned in my three doors, and we've learned in the motion detector. So I'm going to take it out of program mode by pressing and holding the learn button. And now I have a fully operating system. So our next step is I'm going to test it locally here and make sure that it's working properly. And here I have the little guy that's walking out the door. That's the way mode. The little guy that's standing inside the house, that's stay mode. So let's go ahead and fully arm the system. Hold that for three seconds and let it go. And you'll see that the system just went to armed. Now there's a little delay in there because this is all cloud-based. So when you're working with your customers, you always know that there's a little bit of a delay. So that's great. The screen just went from white to black. Exit delay is 60 seconds set on these systems. And the entry delay is 30 seconds. So I'm going to disarm it right now because we're actually not sending signals through. I'm just showing you exactly how to put a new hub into a house that has existing systems in it. I'm going to hit my code, which is 1234. All right, we're disarmed. So locally, everything's working 100%. Before I call into Halo Tech Support, let me go into my emails and get my username and password that's sent to me, which is Ireland Brian. And my password is H-A-L-S-N-0007. Now what's interesting about how we're doing these passwords, just so you know, is that password is actually your account number for your system at the central station. And that's important for you to know because you want to have as much control over your system as possible. All right, now that we know that the system's working locally, we've been able to arm and disarm the system from the keypad. We know that the zones are all in and working. We're gonna call in for the last step and we're gonna activate. Now it's Sunday afternoon. So I'm going to call into Halo Tech Support on a Sunday afternoon when most DIY is done and see if we get somebody to answer. So I'm calling 1-855-DIY-HALO. Here we go. I'm going to put it on speakerphone so we can listen through this process. Call for Halo. This is Jenna. How can I help you? Hey, Jana, how you doing? Uh, this is Brian Ireland calling, and I received a hub earlier from Pulsar Halo to take over an existing system in my house in Dallas, Texas. So I just programmed in all the doors and the motion and the keypad, and now I'd like to activate it. Excellent. Well, I can help you do that. I can see your account is up and active and that you have four zones. Would you like to tell me what those are labeled? Absolutely. Zone one is the front door. Zone 2 is the rear door, Zone 3 is the garage entry door, and Zone 4 is my motion detector. Wonderful, and I'll get those names programmed in for your zone. Um, in case of any incidents, I'm also going to request a verbal password from you, which will be used by your emergency services. Oh, that sounds great. I'd like to use Patriots, as in New England Patriots. Excellent. I have that updated. And since we're talking about emergency services, Brian, I just want to remind you that you need to call 
uh, your local precinct to find out if you in fact need a permit for your alarm system. Okay, absolutely. I'll check with the locals and see about that. Is Wonderful. That and please give us a call back if we can help you with anything else. That was great and great to hear you answering on a Sunday afternoon when we like to do DIY, Jana. My pleasure. Have a great day. You too. Well, that was easy on a Sunday afternoon. Thank you all for tuning in. Again, remember, this was all about taking over a system with a new hub and doing a little extra programming than what you'd usually have to do when the system comes all programmed from Halo.